again everybody and what's up it, it's felicia green here or Catherine, and yeah so yeah guys so here's another video with my face so so yeah but um this is going to be um another serious video because there's been a lot more <laughs> shootings and Oh my god. So, we are make me and Caesar are making a part three. We're going to tell you guys about the shootings if you didn't hear about them. And, um, we're just making a part three just to give our thoughts on it. And I know that these shootings will probably never stop. Which is the sad part. Um, because there's a lot of cruel people in this world. Um, a lot of fools. Yep, and a lot of people who just don't have brains and they don't know what they're oh, doing and they just want to shoot up anything they see or anyone they see. And that's they very sad. This is why I'm actually done with this world now, to be honest. Because there's. I don't think there's any hope. Nope. Because. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is what happened in Texas. Um, I don't know if this happened yesterday or not. Um, because it said it had, it said like 15, oh, never mind. It said May 18, so I don't, so I don't know why it said on there, like, on the news, it said like 15 hours ago. Maybe that's just like when they like wrote the article. Um, but I don't know. But anyways, um, Caesar's here with me, so you can introduce yourself. Let's get together! You got me for Power Rangers! Okay, anyways, so, um, we're just gonna talk about the Texas shooting first. Um, this first shooting happened in Santa Fe, in Texas. And, um, yeah, so, it happened in Santa Fe, Texas, and this happened during a graduation. Yeah, guys, you heard me. A graduation. There was a shooting. Like, isn't that just the most saddest thing? A graduation should be fun. Like, like I had. Like, it should be really fun. You know, you're like graduating from too. high school. This is the last time you get to see um, your people that you've known for all these years from high school. And um, it should just be a really fun time. But also an emotional time because, you know, this is the last time you'll actually be at the school. Um, but a shooting at a, at a high school graduation? Come on. No one wants to get shot up at a graduation. And it said 10, 10 graduates were killed. And that is so sad. Because these people wanted to get jobs. They wanted to to change this world and it is so sad that these graduate graduating people got shot up and now they're dead like this this world is just so sick guys i just i just can't now people are are gonna be like scared to graduate and you shouldn't be scared to graduate but now since this happened people are gonna be scared to graduate because they're gonna be feared that there is going to be a shooting but luckily for my school there wasn't because my graduation wasn't outside or anything um so yeah mine was like inside um and yeah so mine wasn't outside or anything i know like most graduations are probably outside but mine was inside caesar was I yours do. outside or inside inside too and i graduate first than you yeah i know but anyways, um, what is your thoughts that people shouldn't be scared to graduate because of a shooting? Well, well, the only thing I would say is that the whole safety standards, people, fucking people, you should consider of thinking any way to graduate instead of going outside and taking a lot of breaks. Yes, grad. Tell your school if they if they want to graduate outside. Tell them to graduate inside, cause you never know. There could be a person 
with a gun ready to go. Oh, basically, there's always one one douchebag that always ruins the congulation. And also, there's no fucking cops around it. Yeah, there should also be a lot... There should also be a lot of police around. Or just tell your school that, okay, it's better that we graduate, maybe let's graduate in the gym or something and have the doors locked. Like, because I know the gyms are, like, pretty big at, pretty big at schools. I mean, for me, I don't have a gym at my school. I did at my old school, and it was, like, pretty big. Um, and, yeah, I'm guessing that's where they had their graduation, at my old school. Um, but at my, at my school, um, we don't have a gym, actually. Um, because my school is, like, very small, but we're... They're building, like, a new campus, like, a new school for us to be at next year. Um, and I was at the new campus, and they didn't, they still didn't have a gym. <clears throat> so, I don't know if they're gonna build a gym or not, because they said they were. But, unless they're, like, gonna build it, like, later, because they still have a lot of other things to do. So, I'm guessing they're gonna, like, build it later. Because they don't even have a playground for the kids, and they said that they were going to have one. So, I'm guessing they're probably just going to build it later, because they just want to get the main school done. Like, they want to get the main classrooms done, and the elevators, and the stairs, and all that stuff done. And they already have all that stuff done. But, I'm guessing they just want to build, build the gym later, and the playground later, so, yeah. Um, but my, but if your school does have a gym, I suggest telling them to just go in the gym, lock the doors, just to be safe. Um. Or easily. There's an easy way for this. Or if you just don't feel don't safe. Like or if, if they don't do don't that and you just don't feel, the if they don't do that and you just don't feel safe, I personally wouldn't go to the graduation. And I would probably just go, like, um, like, go to the school and just get your diploma without doing the graduation, because you can actually do that. At least that's what I heard. You can actually just not go to a graduation, and you could just go to the school, and they just give you your diploma. But if, 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 um, if you, if you just don't feel safe, that's what I would personally do. But, yeah, um, Caesar, do you have something to say? Fuck you, the dude who shut the kids. Yeah. And also okay, the so people. should I just read about Please. what it says? Because I didn't really read about it yet. To the people. Well, Please. I was going to read about it. I know, but first things first, I have to say this. People, please, take safety standards for Christ's sake. And always. And there's going to be people congratulating. Don't invite losers. Yeah. Unless they want to see you. Yeah. And also, I wouldn't invite, like, like just a random person that you don't know. Because you never know who that, that person, you never know who that person could be. They could be a shooter you don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna, like, read about the Texas graduation shooting now, guys. Um, and, yeah, this video is probably gonna be very long, obviously, because we have so much to talk about. Probably be, like, maybe 30 or 40 minutes, but, yeah. But anyways, guys, so I'm gonna read about what it says about the Texas shooting. So, yeah, so it says, um, in the, in the, in the sheltering... Twilight on the school's football field. Three okay, three hundred and twenty-eight seniors at a Southwest Texas high school received their diplomas Friday with memories of a deadly mass shooting fresh in their minds. Okay, I just have something to say about that one paragraph. So you when you shouldn't have a memory when you have a graduation of a deadly shooting. That's not, that's not right. Like, your graduation shouldn't, shouldn't have your mind on the shooting. Your graduation should 
just be like thinking about the next step in your life and just thinking about, oh, where are you going to go to college or just what you're going to do with your life next, um, that should be on your mind. And that is shooting. So already that sounds like very, very wrong. Um, and I think it was probably the school's fault for not taking precautions about that because a shooting can literally happen. At, okay, because at this rate, I think a shooting can happen anywhere. It can even happen in a grocery store. It could happen in a mall. Maybe it could happen in a church. Maybe it could happen in your own house. It can happen anywhere. Maybe it could just happen when you're walking in the street. Oh, so well, you have well, to be careful. Bathroom, anywhere you go, you have to look everywhere. Even when you're walking in the street, you have to look everywhere. And, and just, like, look... You have to look everywhere, right, Caesar? Well, there's always a thing called look closely before you make a move. Is that what you do when you walk in the street? Well, not walk in the street, but look around. Okay, because I don't want anything happening to you. And also, one more thing before But will we get nothing into happen to you? But wait, 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 let me say But I just, uh, I want you to answer people. my question. Will nothing happen to you? I know, but I'm just saying this for the Answer people. Answer it! Also, I know, but give me money. Uh, people, when it comes to taking safety precautions, you should at least, like, tell a few guards and at the same time, uh, oh, I don't know, a few invitation cards only to the or people tell who a it as the graduationers. And yeah. And... And it's going to be involved teachers, mothers, fathers, grandpas, or people they basically they supposed to involve in school or or students that are supposed to be either the boyfriend, the girlfriend, or either the brother. The I sister. wish you were at my at graduation, least, my hero. At least give them at least some. I said, uh, you didn't hear what I said? What? That I wish you were at my graduation. Thing. But you can't because you're all the way there. I know. Anyways, continue. Hello? Okay, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, you want me to continue the, the, the article? Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, guys, like I said, just be careful. Look everywhere. A shooting can happen anywhere. It can happen in a restaurant, which that is we are what we are going to talk about next after we read this. No, wait. Yeah, that's... I th no. I think there was also one at a high school, too, so we probably have to read that. And then we're going to talk about the one at the restaurant. So, yeah, just be careful wherever you go. Now, this is a very sad world that you have to be careful, like... Wherever you go, I mean, you should always be careful, but you have to be even more careful. Because there could just be a person with a gun, they could just pull it right out and just start shooting up anywhere. Or anyone. So, yeah, I, I'm not trying to scare everyone, but this is reality, and this is what is happening in our world right now. So, I'm not trying to scare anyone, it's just, I, I just want everyone to be safe, and, um, I just don't think anyone should be risked of their lives from a, from a bullet, um, so, yeah, so, anyways, guys, um, I'm just gonna continue this, so, yeah, Caesar, are you still here? Okay. So I'm just gonna continue. So it says the Santa the Santa Fe High School seniors gathered in the eight eighty three degree heat. Well, dang, that's really hot. Well, yeah, and um seventy six percent humidity. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, you were talking, your mom was saying something, right? Yeah. What was she saying? 
How about the burrito? What about it? What about it? That what? What about it? That I was supposed to say it for later, but I ate it completely. Oh. Okay, anyways, let's just continue. So, um, on the artificial turf field to become the school's first to graduate, since two substitute teachers and eight fellow students oh eight people died i'm sorry i thought it said 10 but it said eight. Oh no wait no it was 10 because it said two two substitute teachers died and then eight students died so yeah that is 10 and shooting up a teacher that is that is wrong like oh my god anyways and then on may 18th a 17-year-old student identified as the shooter is being held on captable murder charges. Well, thank God he should be in prison the rest of his life. And he's only 17? Where are these kids getting these guns from? Are they just stealing it from their, from their dad? Uh as well they need to take precautions about buying fucking guns they need to lock these guns up okay first they're okay their 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 parent their dads should lock the guns up really good they should not have their key out in plain sight they should always have their key like with them and just not have it anywhere and they should Guns. probably not even tell their kid that they do have a gun. Yep. I mean, my dad has a gun. I know about it. But you know me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get the gun. I'm not gonna shoot up people because I'm not like that. There are there actually has been some girls who actually do sh have did sh some shootings. Because the uh, girl from the from the per the the um, last one we talked about, the YouTube shooting, there was a girl who did that shooting. But I know that my dad has a gun. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to shoot at people. Because guess what? I have common sense. I know that that's wrong. Unlike people who do not have common sense and they just think it's fun. When in reality, they're just going to face the consequences of their actions. And let's not forget, and the people they say they is fine, that person needs some And help Caesar, it. you know your 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 dad has a gun, right? Yep. But you're not gonna get it and just shoot up people, right? Nah, he's not going anywhere. You would only do it if there was a bad man. Yep. Which that's different. Bad men. Sh should deserve it. Yep. Because they're sexually harassing a girl, they're raping a girl, or or what else? Well, beating her up is basically the only thing I would do is to kill the, the live violin. Yeah. So that is different. That is a guy who, do, who would deserve it. But if it's just a random person graduating or just a student or a teacher that does they don't or just a random person like in a eating in a restaurant they don't deserve it because they didn't do nothing so yeah anyways let's just continue yeah. so i'm good i'm gonna continue so it says the graduating seniors wearing white robes in tribute to those no white no white stoles in tribute to those slain and their well wishers viewed a montage tribute to the slain students and teachers on the stadium's video display board the events of may 18th refer to speeches by the school principal rachel blundell black valedictorian corcor again garcia and Slatatorin Bally Dobson 
referred to the events of May 18. Um, but Blundell reassured the seniors that surviving such a trial equips them with the strength and courage to cope with the challenges that will come later in life. Great leaders and great nations have emerged out of the ashes of some of the greatest tragedies. She said, and there's a video of it, but I don't think we should watch the video. Yes. Um, I'm on a call with Caesar, so obviously watching the video would end the call. And also, um, I just don't think we should watch it. Because it'll, it's probably going to be very graphic. And I don't want to see a lot of blood everywhere. So, we're, no, we're not going to watch it. But if you guys are curious and you want to watch it, then you can probably just look it up. But uh, on your own time, but we're not going to show it. Um, so, yeah. And so it says, Garcia told his classmates that the shared experience only brought them closer and bought them the strength that unity brings. We've made it through the worst of it, he said in his valetorious speech. But he said that another foe confronted the, graduate, the graduates, the emotions of trauma and loss that could be overwhelming. Moving on will be tough. Nothing will ever be the same for any of us. <clears throat> but we all have a choice to make. He said, It's been a bit of a wild ride, Dobson said in her speech. This year has been one of the most bizarre and life-changing years that we've had so far. We First, we had Hurricane Harvey. Then we had snow. And the most recently, we had the tragic, the tragic events of May 18th that happened in our very school. But she said her classmates had remained strong through all the challenges that had, life had thrown at us. The ceremony game, came a day after President Donald Trump, which, why Donald Trump? He does not do anything. He's not even doing nothing about these shootings. <laughs> Thing about it doing all he things. does is just talk give a speech and that's it he just doesn't do anything wait 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 you like just he just tells better. the school i'm sorry for your loss and then he just goes away it, it's simply okay the only way that you, you should have held you should you should help what kind of president are you I'm sorry if some of you people do like Donald Trump and do support him, but I'm sorry. Like, why Why are you supporting someone who doesn't do anything? But, wait, wait, it happened. The only way there is people who support him, though. But yeah, I that's know, all it says that's... about the shooting, and we're going to give our thoughts about that shooting in a minute after you say something. Okay, what I was about to say that the only way that you can make it better is that Donald Trump, Donald Trump, or Donald Fuck, he doesn't give a shit about people. He's always one of those people that, eh, I'm sorry for the loss, bloody blah, blah blah. And it was on like it was fucking boring or something. He's basically equivalent of sloth. Like, he doesn't give a shit. Or, simply put, he doesn't do shit. Okay, and um, can we say our thoughts about the shooting now? Hello? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna pause this, guys, so... Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, I don't know what... I don't know what happened to Caesar, but... He's back now. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to give my thoughts on uh, the, the, the shooting um, at the graduation. So, yeah. So, my thoughts on it. But I've mostly said a lot of this before. But people, they shouldn't be scared to go to a graduation. They should a shooting shouldn't be in their minds graduating from high school it, sh it just 
it just shouldn't be in their minds. Um, there should their graduation should have been inside, with the doors locked. Um, they should have had police there looking around. And it's just so sad that two teachers died, eight people who were going to graduate died, and now they never get to move on with their life, they never get to get married, they never get to do anything. Um, and that's the really sad part. And oh my god, are my parents home? Oh my god. Um, if they're home, guys, um, I'm not done making this video yet. But I guess, um, I'll probably just upload this. And, um, me and Caesar will probably continue doing this video tomorrow. So, yeah, we're probably just gonna continue it tomorrow. So, yeah. I was gonna do a video on my LPS channel, but, Yeah. Um, I'll probably just continue it tomorrow and talk about the high school shooting and the Waffle House shooting. Well, as, yeah, Waffle House shooting and the other shooting, so yeah. Well, not the other shooting, but this is another thing we need to talk about, so yeah. Um, it's easy to just give his thoughts on it tomorrow, so yeah. So, um, I hope, uh, if, if my parents are home, I hope you all enjoyed and feel free to subscribe and we'll see you in the next part. So yeah, so bye guys. Okay, yeah, sorry about that false alarm. Um, I thought my parents were home, but they're not yet. But if they do come home, we are probably going to continue the video tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I'm hoping that they don't come home yet, but yeah. But anyways, guys, so that's, yeah, that's basically my thoughts on the shooting of the graduation. That people should not be scared to graduate. And, um, that they should, that they should just not, like, have to, like, worry about, about that or anything. Um, and they should just graduate, and it sucks that eight people died, so. Yeah, so. Um, Caesar, are you there yet? Yeah, I guess he's not. He's he's going to the bathroom right now, so I don't know how long that's gonna take. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna really wait for him. So I'm just gonna like read the next um, article, and then he could uh, give his thoughts on it. I guess um, just tell him a summary of what happened. Um, oh, never mind. He he's back now. So <laughs> let's just wait. Hello? <laughs> Hi, my hero. <laughs> okay, so can you give- Okay, I'm done giving my thoughts on the graduation shooting, so can you give your thoughts now? Uh, I feel so sorry for the people. And? That lost the life, and also sorry people, I just had a pain I think. Oh, but the thing I ate for dinner. Yeah, he ate five eating. burritos. Yeah, and I had a feeling that my species is not gonna work on this level of death pool. Yeah. Well, I, I and for me, I ate. I uh, no, I didn't eat yet. But for me, I'm gonna eat Chick Fil A. <clears throat> so yeah, for dinner, that's gonna be my dinner, Chick Fil A. But you don't know what a Chick-fil-A is. Right? The green stuff. Yeah. It's not green. It's, it's... Sorry. It's a restaurant where they sell, like, chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, or just anything that is chicken. Oh. Yep. That's just what it is. But you don't have that where you live. Yeah. I should I, I should look that up though cuz I'm curious. But I'll do it later. Anyways, so yeah, that was your thoughts, right? Yep. 
Oh yeah. So now I'm gonna read about the other shooting that happened in also in Santa Fe, Texas. The the high the the high school shooting um, that happened in the actual high school. So I'm guessing this happened um, on a no. It happened on the same day, but yeah, it happened at a different time. So more people actually died that day. Dang. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna read it now. So yeah. So it says, this time it happened during first period. The day after a student went on a shooting rampage at a Texas high, Texas high school, a Houston area community <clears throat> grappled with a horrific reality that has unfolded in so many other places across the nation. On Friday morning, a 17-year-old student armed with a shotgun and a pistol stormed Santa Fe High School about 30 miles southeast of Houston and opened fire in an art class. In art class? Really? Why would you... Why would you shoot up in an art class? Hey. Where people just want to make art. I'm okay. So now... Hearing about this, now people are going to be scared to do art class. Which, no, no, you don't do that. You don't shoot people in an art class. No, I mean, uh, I want to be in art class. I know, but you, but I'm saying the person, the guy shouldn't have did that. Oh. Anyways, let's just continue. Um, and it says the gunman killed 10 people and wounded at least 10 others. So he, so he killed 10 people and then he wounded 10 others. So he, he harmed like 20 people. Anyways, and, um, and including a school resource officer. Why did you hurt a resource officer? Oh my god. Did you hear what it said? Yep. Yeah, anyways. And... Hang on, okay. And was left in critical condition, police said, before surrendering to the officers who confronted him. Of those killed, eight, <clears throat> eight were students and two were teachers. <clears throat> what happened to Caesar again? Anyways, let me just finish reading this and I'll call him back. So Santa Fe Independent School District Superintendent said in a letter to parents. You know what? Okay, let me just hang on. Let me pause this and I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened again, so yeah. So anyways, so it says, our community has suffered a terrible tragedy. Well, Wall wrote, we are all feeling the overwhelming grief of this horrific event. Late Saturday afternoon, officials identified those killed as teachers, Glenda Perkins and Cynthia Tisdale and students Jared Black, Cynthia Fisher, Christian Riley Garcia, Aaron Kyle McLeod, Angelique Ramias Shabikia Shin Shinkia Christopher Jake Stone and Kimberly Vegan. Santa Fe High School became the the latest scene of carnage in what has become a national epidemic of mass shootings. For the second time in the past three months, the victims were children and their teachers. The tragedy prompted an outpouring of grief and uh, outrage. Statements of sympathy and anger from elected officials, <clears throat> heart-rending -rend posts from relatives of, that, of the deceased, as well as for some a quiet red res res I can't say that, that the previously unthinkable had 
had morphed into an invability. <clears throat> it's happening everywhere, one Santa Fe student, Paige Carey, said, with shrug after a shooting. I've always kind of felt like eventually it was going to happen here, too. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's true. It is happening everywhere now. A shooting is happening everywhere, which is very sad. Um, like I said before, so yeah. So, at Santa Fe, it happened with less than two weeks to go before the end of the school year. Isabel Lanson, 15, was in art class drawing the geometric shapes when she heard gunshots Friday morning. She froze for a moment, then she ran back to a back door leading to a patio, but it was locked. She and seven other students barricaded themselves in a supply closet that connected two art classrooms. She laid on the floor and calling the police, and then she called her mother, whispering, whispering, I love you. Mom, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I will ever see you again, but just so you know, I love you. And then she, while holding a friend's hand. <clears throat> they shushed each other, hoping to avoid detention. The trench coat clad gunman police identified the Sussex as, as student Demetrios Pagoios Jr. Wait, is this kid Spanish? Hello? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. I don't know. What the heck? Why did- Wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. What did Faith just text me? She said, I'm shop- Okay, Faith said, I'm shopping in Ames. My dad just drove past a Mexican restaurant named Mr. Burrito. What the heck, Faith? How was there a restaurant named Mr. Burrito? Yeah, anyways. Um... And then she said, he said, surprise, and then he started shooting, and he killed. Okay, that is no surprise, like, starting a shooting, right? Yeah. Okay, anyways. Stupid fly. Anyways, and then he shot, he shot a girl in the leg. Oh my god, why would you shoot a girl in the leg? Did you hear that? Hello? What? That he shot a girl in the leg. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait a minute, what? He shot a girl in the leg. What, did I hear that right? Yes? Can you make it louder so I can hear it? Cause I didn't catch he it. He shot a girl in the leg. Okay, and then it says, in the closet, he shot through the window, she said. We blocked the doors with ceramic m makers, and he kept on trying to get in, and he kept on shooting inside the closet. She called police three times over the course of 30 terrifying minutes. A police dispatcher told her to be quiet and assured her that help was on the way. The gunman kept shooting, cursing, and yelling. He shot a police officer who approached, then engaged other officers in discussion, offering to surrender. He shot a police officer. Oh, my God. Why did these officers are basically waste this time? What? The police officer should have, like, shot him or something. I don't Anyways, so he kept saying, if I come out, don't shoot me. They didn't shoot him. They just put him in handcuffs, she said. Wow, they should have shot him, to be honest, because they shot a, he shot a police officer. Anyways, Pakiroras, or whatever his name was, whom students described as a quiet loner, is being held with that bond at the county jail. Charged with capital murder and aggravated assault on a police officer. It was unclear in mo what motivated the attack, and authorities said it came without any obvious warning. 
whatever his name is, made his first court appearance Friday evening, a little more than ten hours after the massacre. He spoke quietly, saying yes, sir, when asked if he wanted a court-appointed attorney. After the brief hearing, he was led away. Police and oh, whatever his name was, I'm just going to call him P, because I don't know how to say his name, um, gave a statement admitting responsibility for the shooting. I'll be right back. Okay. According to a prominent cause evident filed in court, they said that his name, that P, told police that he went into the school wearing a trench coat and wielding two guns and sent on killing people. <clears throat> the affidavit states that the 17-year-old told police that he did not shoot students. He did like so he could not have his story told. The two guns used in the shooting belonged to his father. According to the governor, he said it wasn't clear the father knew his son had taken them. Unlike many other shootings carried out with the high rifle, such as the AR-15, this one, 30 said, included rarely common weapons. Police said that they also found explosive devices inside the school and locations off the campus. Authorities said that they were also scrutinizing two other potential suspects in the shooting. Uh, said officials questioned another student described as a person of interest. Abbott said police also hoped to speak with the third person, who he said could have certain information, though he did not elaborate. As families mourn, stories of the victims have begun to emerge. The embassy of Pakistan confirmed Friday evening that Sharika, a Pakistani in, in exchange student, was killed in the attack. Our thoughts and prayers are with Shabaka's family and friends. <clears throat> Another exchange student said Shabaka was studying through the Kennedy Larger Youth Exchange and Study Program, funded by the U.S. State Department. A spokesperson of the Bureau did not immediately respond to a message seeking com comment. Hader said. Cherokee was about to return home. The academic year was ending, so she was almost done with her cultural exchange. Tisdale, 63, was a substitute teacher at Santa Fe High School. She worked at the school frequently. She started substitute teaching because she loved to help children. Um, she, the, she, a police detective, his mother, something, I don't know. The couple had three children and 11 grandchildren. His wife also been something. She was a good woman, he said. Less than two weeks ago, Garcia 15 posed a man what appeared to be a house undergoing construction. Next to a scripture, he had called on the door frame for what would be his new bedroom, according to his church. On Friday, he was killed in the attack, the church confirmed. Remnis, another Santa Fe student who was gunned down in the shooting, was remembered as a kind, compassionate, and caring teenager with a contagious smile. Si Stone, 17, was also killed in the attack. His family confirmed to the Washington Post. He was a football player. He was also delighted in video games, hiking, jet skiing, prayer sailing, and zip lining. He was the youngest of three siblings, as a, known as the Three Stones. <clears throat> Chris protected his two older siblings with the Pharisee of an older brother. He had a lot of heart. Being a brother was his best job. He was always there if someone needed someone to listen to or someone cheering up. Definitely the life of the party. Chris had attended his junior prom a week ago. Three officers responded to the attack. Officials said the first to confront the shooter was a school safety officer. John Barnes, a retired police officer, he joined the Santa Fe School District. Barnes was shot in both arms, dang. And he, um, third officer engaged in a gunman, according to state police official. Barnes was taken by a helicopter to the center something medical branch where he was in danger of bleeding out when he arrived. Um, he had so many officers upon the hospital to show their support, family, good spirits after hearing the doctors that he was not fatal. 
Officials have not yet provided a timeline showing how long it took to respond to the active shooter emergency calls, nor have they disclosed many details about their interactions with the shooter. Um, and police had been busy individually escorting Santa Fe students back on campus Saturday so they could retrieve cars and belongings they had left behind. Our officers have been very resilient. I don't think it really sunk in yet, allowing emotions to take control. Santa Fe High School, home of the Indians, had won a statewide award for its safety program. As in a Monday's per square Friday shooting, the school experienced a false alarm about an active shooter in February, an event that attracted a massive emergency response. Many of Many of the students had staged a walkout April 20 as part of the nationwide school shootings protest. Um, and a uh, grass room in the wake of the February massacre, 17 students at the Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, one sign carried, and then the process never again. Uh, Gage Slaughter was. He was sitting in advanced history class when he sh when the shooting started. When he heard the gunshots, he thought, as so often the case of mass shootings, that was just firecrackers. Someone put on a fire alarm. He said everyone outside. Then a coach and some teachers told students to start running. There were people who were starting to cry. He said, I don't know what was going on until I was down the road a little ways, and I heard one of the teachers sing it was a school shooter in the hours that followed. Heavy, heavily armed officers in Tattlewood gear surrounded the school. Authorities said they found explosives in the high school and in surrounding areas and put out warnings on social media for people to avoid touching anything unfamiliar. Parents were picking up their children early from other schools in the area as they reeled from the horror that had come to their community. I just needed to cuddle my baby girl. A parent who lives nearby said she could hear the rescue helicopters from her home. Ever since Parkland, I've had to tell my 13-year-old daughter to not be a hero, to hide and stay safe with the teacher. If something like this happens, she, because she's the type who would try and talk the shooter down. This was the 16th school shooting so far this year. Dang. Um, and... Hang on. And then that's the highest number at this point any year. The year of the high school massacre. Uh, the school, school had to have killed at least 141 children. Educators under people with another 284 injured. Oh my god. Among the injured with sophomore Rome Silbert, a pitcher on the school baseball team who said the bullet grazed his head. I'm so grateful and blessed that God spared my life today. Today, I was shot in the back of the head, but I'm completely okay and stable. On Friday night, students scattered out of Vidra hair wearing t-shirts made after Hurricane Harvey that read Texas Tough on the back. Indians got your back. The shooting immediately drew president, drew nationwide. I'm not going to read about Trump because he doesn't do anything. All he, said, all he said was we grieve the terrible loss of the life. And send our support and love to everyone affected by this horrible attack. See, he does nothing. Literally nothing. Anyways. And then, um, late Friday, something. I don't, I don't want to read that. This is very long. Uh, they really went to detail on this. Um. Let's just... This is very uh, long. Like, will... this is a long article. Let's, uh, let's no, will... this is a really long article. Like, wow. Um, anyways. Um, okay, on Saturday, the family released a statement saying, It's shocked and confused what happened that this is uncomfortable with the boy we love. Well, you should pay more attention to your son then, so-called family. Like, yep. they should really pay more attention. Anyways, yep. um, uh, 
several teammates have been caught in the shooting and it remain unclear sorry if the government target certain students suspect suspect dominate his thoughts on his computer and cell phone the writing revealed that he was planning to commit suicide he said the shooter didn't have the courage to follow on the suicide experts on the mass shootings note that the killers studied their protector copy their moves even their fashions the shooter that appeared to copy the elements of the Columbian Massacre. Black Trench Coat, Shotgun, and Explosive. More than 30 shooters have copied the Columbian Killers and admitted they've done so. This seems like actually more extreme version because of all the different elements that seem to be copied. Um, it's form of celebrity worship. I is this so so long? Oh my goodness. We. <laughs> no, I'm still gonna read it. Cable new. No, I don't want to read that. Hang on. Okay, now it's finally done. Oh my god, that was so long. Yep. Anyways, that was very long. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. I. Um, this is, this video is like 15 one in minutes, so we're probably going to make like a part four of this, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about the, um, the, the shooting in the, uh, Waffle House, and then the, our thoughts on the other, like the, the thing, the other thing we talk about. So yeah, but before we go, what, my thoughts on the shooting... Oh yeah, first that article was very long, so I'm sorry if any of if that bored any of you. Um, the second thing would be, I, I really just can't really believe that this happened, and it's just very sad about what happened, and just people don't copy. What other people do like please don't it's really not worth it it's not cool and just don't copy what other people do and just don't be an idiot don't go shooting up people and just have some common sense please please have common sense just don't do it because you think it's fun. Like, just please have common sense. Like, you're risking people's lives who haven't done anything in that who are innocent. So, yeah, those are my, that's my thoughts on it. So, Caesar, you could give your thoughts. It was wrong. Everything that has happened. Donald Trump don't speak shit. He don't give a shit. Yeah, he doesn't. He's the we're worst president. He's the worst president we've ever had. I'm, so, I'm. I don't even know why my dad even supports him. Oh. Your parents don't support him, right? I don't have a no. Oh, okay. Well, is that all you have to say about it? Yeah, let's sign out of here. Okay, this so me and Caesar are going to make the part four about this since this video is very, very long. It's like 53 minutes. So, yeah, we're going to make a part four just talking about the other shooting and our thoughts on it. And then we're going to talk about something else. And then, yeah. So, yeah, guys, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, since this is Felicia Green sending out... So yeah, so bye guys. I love y'all. Bye. Say bye, Caesar. Let's get together. You funny And do not Felicia. be an idiot. Stay safe, guys. And just stay safe, right? Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.